guys need any grinding done, such as the Draft Reward, Moses Malone, Unlimited, Michael Finley, the GOAT Fernando at a clutch time, or even the level 40 Ant-Man, look no further than hitting up my guy Cliff2 underscore 3 on Twitter. You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video, and we can see what is coming tomorrow in NBA 2K22. My team, as far as limited rewards, we get Boban the Giant at the power forward position. We also see OG Anion and Anobi at the shooting guard position. First question is Is there going to be more to come? Are there going to be four options? I don't necessarily know uh, right now. It's up in the air. But I will say, guys, these are at least two of the options. And it does say five cards. So maybe you'll see like a Hall of Fame pack, maybe Diamond Contracts. I don't know what else could be if these are the only two options. But, I mean, the options go on. Between OG, between Boban, between OG and Boban, I'm going to tell you guys who I would choose in the pros and cons of both cards. Let's start with OG and Anobi here. 6-7. Seven two wings, man. Out spots forever. Forty five other favors. Twenty nine on gold. I mean, to me, OG is really good. There's no question about it. My question to OG would be: with that release on very quick, we don't know what it's going to be like. We're going to have to see it. But is he really that elite in my team compared to the cards we've seen? I mean, I can go to two K database and talk about some of the cards we've seen in this next drop. And I mean, does OG really give you more than, let's say, a guy like AJ Griffin? I mean, do, do, does he give you more? I, I don't necessarily know the answer to it. I get he's taller, gonna have a better player model, player build. He is a shooting guard with that player build, so maybe. I really think it's gonna come down to that release, though. I mean, what is that release gonna entail? Obviously, defensively, OG is gonna be absolutely elite. I've liked OG's player models in 2K, but I would have liked to ch see a change of release. Just give him a better release because jump shot 76 at this point of my team is not great next we see boban the giant now guys i love boban but before we get to boban guys i want to sit here and tell you guys i love 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 this card right here in mark williams and so i'm gonna come be comparing boban to mark williams a lot because i mean guys you gotta grind a long time on all those limited rings and if you've grinded all those limited rings you don't want to waste it uh, on a card that's not even going to be better than mark williams who right now is relatively cheap in my team so gonna be you know comparing the cards quite a bit here but let's look at boban okay 45 out of favors 18 on gold hold on on gold hot spots from everywhere seven feet four seven eight wingspan 94 three ball decent driving standing dunk speed ball ball handle not where you want it to be 83 speed 86 lateral quickness i mean set shot two on very quick is not good I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe it's because of Boban's upper. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll give Set Shot to a chance. But, I mean, if you look at Boban cards in the past, his release has been horrible. So, I'm not holding my breath on the release with Shifty Dribble Style. He's got quick drops. I mean, that's a bonus. That's a plus. And honestly, guys, I'm going to say it. For budget guys out there, Boban's really good. You want to compare him to a guy like Arvita Sabonis. I know Sabonis has got a better release. And Sabonis is going to shoot the ball better. But outside of that, Boban's overall the better card. Outside of, of just shooting wise, you are indeed looking at Boban being the better card. You give him a guy like Don Nelson, he then got 91 speed, 99 interior, 95 perimeter, and you're just looking at a really complete card in my team. As long as you don't have to shoot the ball too much with Boban, I think you're going to be good. And again, that th his release could be a lot better. I, I, I'm not sitting here saying his release is bad. I'm just saying I'm not quite sold on his release quite yet, right? Quite yet. Just not quite sold on it. But in general, guys, I do think when it... If these are our two options, right? If 2K Database doesn't update and give us more total options, I do think we're looking at it being a runaway take Boban. I mean, it's not even in question. We've got way less budget power forward centers in my team. And when I say budget, I'm saying budget compared to the shooting guard position. Just in this next drop, you can look, I mean, at the power forward position, I guess, you know, we did get really solid options. Mark is a really solid option. Obviously, Jalen Duran is really solid too. I don't want to take away from those guys. But at the shooting guard position, you got AJ Griffith. Benedict uh, Benedict here obviously is 6'6 six, six with a 6'9 wingspan. And he can do a lot too. So, Who's saying that when you compare the cards side by side, that OG is the better card? Because I don't even know if I can sit here and say that. I mean, obviously, stat-wise, sure. 
but he's got jump shot 99 which is a way better release it's it's just tough for me to for sure say that i mean that that's where i'm at right now and so for me if it came down to it i think i'm taking boban like on my no money spent will boban play i guess we'll have to see i i don't, I don't necessarily know for sure because i already got Manute, i got taco i got bob netalecki i i've got you know ben wallace and where does Boban fit in a lineup like that? I have no idea. But that's who you got to choose. And I don't really even think you have an option. If this release turns out to be good when it does go to very quick. I mean, Simbular does have it on very quick. But let's say Set, set Shot 2 does become really good. Uh, Boban's release on very quick. You're looking at basically a better version of Arvidas Sabonis. He's going to be better either way you look at it. The card is 7 feet 4. 7 4 power forward position which is just absolutely ridiculous here's the deal guys if you didn't grind limited rewards if you did not grind them at all are you behind I, i'm gonna say yes i'm gonna say yes if you are like like say, let's say no money spent and you did not grind limited you're re probably regretting it a little bit because bobon at the power forward position is cheesy i mean you don't have to love the card but you can get him even with monty williams up to an 88 speed good interior perimeter defensively absolutely elite i mean just look at the card it's gonna come down to that release yeah i would what i would have loved is 2k giving bobon set shot 25 then we'd be talking about maybe the best power forward in the game but again it's gonna come down to set shot two on very quick first of all is it use it user is it is it a usable release right because there's releases in my team. I'm just going to talk about them. Alonzo Morning's release, for example. Alonzo Morning is a good overall card. And I'll click on, on what I'm talking about here. This card is overall really good, right? You look at the stats, look at the badge, he's really good. But then his release with this upper is just absolutely horrible. It's the Craig Hodges upper, which is just horribly bad. Now, one thing I'm going to say is we got a guy in Mark Williams who I'm absolutely in love with. And if you're telling me Boban's better than Mark Williams, I'm sorry, I just don't know if I believe it. I'm sorry, I just don't know if I believe it. And, and that's not any Boban Slater. That's just me telling you guys that Mark Williams is absolutely elite. And here's the deal, guys. If you are no money spent, Mark Williams is cheap. So did you miss out on not doing limited? Maybe because I uh, it's Boban and, and obviously I like Boban and Boban's good. But Mark Williams is really, really cheap in my team. So if you didn't get Boban, just go and get Mark Williams for, you know, 15 to 20,000 MT. And you guys are going to be A-OK -okay in my team. So that's kind of my thoughts on everything. For Boban, it's really going to come down to that release. For OG, I mean, it's tough for me to get to OG, in my opinion, right now, just with all the great content we saw today. It's tough for me to say, okay, yeah, OG could possibly play in my team because it's like... At the shooting guard position, there's just many guys that I'm probably going to prefer to him unless, again, similar to Boban, unless his release just is somehow next level good. Let me know your thoughts on these two cards down below in the comments. For me, I'll take Boban over OG and Anobi, and I'm going to grind for my last ring on my No Money Spent Squad Series this weekend. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.